All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and uh, share your screen, Stephen. Okay, there we go. Your virtual. Got All right. Can everybody for... see me? Yes, can see you. All right, perfect. So a little, little about myself and Premier Virtual. My name is Steve Edwards, CEO of Premier Virtual. Uh, when I got out of the Army, uh, moved down to college, down to Florida for college. Uh, after I got out of college, I got into the job fair industry. So I put on in-person job fair for almost nine years. Two years ago, I saw a big change in the market. Candidates stopped coming to in-person events. Uh, started thinking about virtual. Couldn't find exactly what I was looking for out there. Uh, so we developed Premier Virtual. We developed it from a recruiter standpoint to be able to connect candidates directly with the companies that are in there. So what I'm going to show you today is kind of just a quick demo of how these two connect together. Um, so any questions, let me know. Um, first, this is a customized registration page. So you can put graphics in here. You can put videos, training videos. Uh, we just had the governor of Florida put a welcome video to their Paychecks for Patriots event uh, that was there for a statewide veterans hiring event. You can put uh, any kind of messages that are hyperlinked in there, uh, your logos in there, people that use this for trade shows, uh, put sponsorship videos in there and talk about their sponsors. Kind of tells you when a, when a company is registering, they're going to choose where they want to put their jobs and where they want to have their companies. You know, I've heard a couple of people talking about locations and industries and where they want to put their booths and their companies. You want to be able to make sure that you make it as efficient as a, efficient for candidates as possible. Um, a, a big tip on anything with any kind of job fair that's out there, there's a lot of great platforms that were on here today that's here. Um, and they'll all probably tell you this, but the two most important things to me in any virtual event on any platform that's out there is your marketing and your reminders. You're not going to be able to have a successful event if you're not setting up uh, the event properly and marketing it out to both your candidates as well as your companies. The trainings, we have webinars that we do trainings for uh, the individual companies as well that are on there so they understand that. We also do Instagram lives or webinars for your candidates so that they understand how the uh, best practice for the day of the event is going to be. Uh, a lot of organizations started asking us to do the best practice 30 minutes before the job fair starts. So when that candidate logs in, they see a webinar from us and it talks about how to work the, the event on that day because we do this on a daily basis. Candidates and companies don't do this virtual on a daily basis and some of them are not tech savvy. Some of them may not understand that. So when we built this, I said it needs to be as user friendly. It doesn't matter if you're 20 or 60 years old. If you don't have a lot of tech skills, guess what? We made it easy so that you can do it. Um, when, the, when the companies register for the event, they're going to fill out their information, choose which categories that they want to be in, and then they can log in. Uh, every time they come in, they don't have to create a new booth for every event. Once their profile is in our system, they can then register for the other events that they're going to be in as well. Uh, quick thing of the dashboard, all of our training videos and best practices are all right in here for the companies. Profile, when they come in and they edit their profile, very basic information for their organization down to their organization overview. And all of this is information that when those candidates come in, they see it, they can look at it, um, and then be able to speak directly with the recruiters. Custom links, these are just booths, uh, links that websites, anything like that that they want to put on there. And then they can link all of their social media directly to uh, their booth. From there, they can see what their booth looks like um, from a candidate standpoint of view. So again, here, and I'm going to get into this here in a little bit more um, on the candidate side, but you can see exactly what they're looking for there. Um, after they do that, they want to set up their recruiters. Uh, so you can have uh, unlimited number of recruiters that are going to be in the booth. You know, we've had companies that had 15, 17 different recruiters that mm -hmm. are in there so that people don't have to wait in long queues to be able to talk. When a, when a candidate is going to a job fair, especially on the college side of it, I mean, we had one of the colleges that had over 70,000 booth views during their job fair. You can't wait in long queues to be able to get to that. They want to get in, answer the questions. So you can have your unlimited recruiters that are in here, and then they can also create predefined messages 
that are going to be in here that they can send to the candidates as soon as they visit their room so they can introduce themselves, ask them if they wanted to get into a video chat, and they can put anything. So if you think back to an in-person job fair, a candidate comes into the room, they see the companies there, they have to wait in line to get to the front of that line to say, here's my resume, can you tell me about what your company does or a little bit about your, um, your jobs that you're hiring for? The recruiters tell them, and if they say, hey, I want more information, then they start talking. They say, oh, it's not a good fit. Well, they just wasted time waiting in line where now we built it so that they can get all that information before they even get into that chat. So it makes it efficient for both the candidates as well as the companies. Um, after they set up the recruiters, they want to set up their jobs. Here's where they're adding and editing their jobs. So now they can post all their jobs so the uh, company or the candidates can know what jobs are out there so that they can then submit their resume. So these companies know that that candidate is interested in there. They can target where they want to have the job. So let's say they have 10 different industries that they're hiring in and they only want to show the accounting jobs in the accounting, sales and sales and engineering and engineering. They can do that. So the candidates can log in, click on that industry, see the companies that are hiring in that industry, click on the job vacancies and say, these are the ones I'm, I'm interested in and then start chatting with the company. Quick question uh, for you, Steve. Uh, yes. Is build and design self-service? Yes. Um, so this is all, um, we make it very efficient for the, for the host of the events to be able to create the information on the registration page. Very easy, plug and play, uh, just putting in some links in the graphic that's going to be in there. Um, and then each one of the companies, when they're doing it, they're just putting links in to be able to build. They don't have to build out their booths or anything like that. It's going in there and they're just plugging and playing. Excellent. All right. Then the day of the event comes. They're going to come in here. They're entering their booth. What they're going to see is this event is not live right now. But if it was live, you would see the visitors that are coming in here. It's highlighted. Uh, they come into the room. So you know the instant somebody comes into the room. Once they come into your room, you can view their resume as well. So just like this where on the left-hand side, this is their submitted resumes. Anytime somebody submits a resume, you can now click on that resume to see, is this a good fit? It's the same thing on the visitor side. As soon as somebody comes in, they can click on and say, is this a good fit? Let me send them a message here. And then all of the messages, these are gonna be all of the messages that are going on right here of conversations that you're having. And here is where you can have your predefined messages, okay? So Jamie came in, Jamie sent me a message. I can now send a message directly back to him without having to type it because I set up all my predefined messages. Uh, we also then have our video chat. So once we hit the video chat, um, it then sends them a link. So it would send them a link and then the video would pop up directly like that as well. So once Jamie would click on it, you would then see him. Uh, right through the system. Again, it's not an outside thing. Um, you saw when Jamie was typing in there. So that's it from the, the day of the event. You can have, again, as many recruiters are going to be there. Um, all of your candidates are going to be here. No, uh, there's, there's no waiting in line. So also on the chat with the candidates, the chat follows the candidates. So no matter where they're at within the, within the event, that chat is following them. So if company A is, is busy and they send them a message and, they, and the candidate doesn't get right back and then the company sends a message, even if they're not in their booth, they're going to be able to get that chat so that they know that that recruiter is interested. in. And then uh, at the end of the event, which for the uh, organizations, which is the most important thing, is the data. They want to know how many people submitted their resumes to the event. They want to know who visited their hiring room. They can download their resume. They can leave notes directly about the candidates. Um, and they can even view all of the logs of the candidate behavior that you're going to be able to see. So you know, what did that candidate do while they were in your hiring room? Then you can export all of this data directly to your system that exports it to a CSV file so that you can upload it in any one of your ATS systems you have, as well as hard copies of all of the resumes. So that's it on the company side. Does anybody have any questions before I get to the candidate side? Nothing uh, yet other than that first one, but uh, go ahead. Okay. So candidate side, again, this is very customizable on how you want to put your event that's out there, um, your registration page. 
So if you see like this organization, uh, Career Sorts, which is the Workforce Development Board here in Florida, is they put all of their sponsors on there. So it's very customizable to get the people's names out there and all of the information. They didn't use anything on the right side. They only use their information page. So let me log in here, show you what it looks like um, from the candidate standpoint of view. They're going to have their profile that's going to be in here um, where they're editing their profile. They're then going to be able to go to the lobbies of these events. So when we talk about driving a candidate to the right place, when a candidate comes in and they see a list of 100 different companies, they're not going to know which companies are hiring for which type of jobs or which type of locations. They're just going to see a big list of companies. And we all know candidates might they'll look at the first five, six, seven companies. They don't see what they're looking for they're going to log off. So by creating your industries, it really makes it efficient. And this was just one uh, client that did it this way. They had webinars through the platform as well throughout the day. Um, and you can see when they come in, again, they're going to be able to click on an industry. From here, they're able to see all of the companies that are in here. Once they click on a company, this is where they can see the organization bio. See, am I even interested in what this company does? Yes. Okay. Let's look at the job vacancies. From here, I view the job vacancies. Oh, I like what this company has to say. Let me submit my resume. Now that organization knows that I'm interested in ABC position. And what does a company want to do after they saw what the company did? They saw the job vacancies they submitted. They want to research their companies. These are what the custom links are for. So now they can click directly on the link and see exactly what that company does. From there, they can click on their social media. And then the next thing is, is they can click on their chat. Now a candidate can start a chat or a company can start a chat. So again, it makes it very efficient. So if a candidate wants to come in and say, I looked at your um, engineering position, what are the next steps? So now they've done that research. They said that that recruiter understands. They saw their resume and they can have a real one on one chat directly with that candidate. OK, Steve, when you get a new client, how do you do the sort of the onboarding and training of, of the platform with them? Can you explain? that? Uh, yeah, great question. So we have a team here. Um, once they have it, if one of my team member has it, we have an account manager that is going to be their uh, first line of contact. So they're going to have their team, their account manager, as well as our implementation team. They're going to set up the virtual environment for them. They're, once they have their virtual environment, they're able to go in and start creating all of their events. Again, we do individual events. We do annual agreements where they can run unlimited events on the platform. So there's, there's multiple different things that they can do within the platform. If they want to do a trade show or a career fair, uh, they can do that. But they're always going to have... Um, one-on-one -on -one contact from my support team. Uh, my team is all based here in the U.S. So you have live support during every single event. You have live support before the events. You have live training. You have emails, phone numbers to be able to reach anybody here uh, on our team to get you onboarded all the way through the end of the events. Um, and then after the event is over as well, um, in our admin portal that we have that each client has their admin portal, you're going to be able to pull all of the reports for the event. So you're going to know all of the job seekers, uh, what they did while they're in the event, which booths that they visited, how many booths they visited. Uh, you'll know the submitted the resumes. Um, then you'll know by company how many chat messages, how many booth visits they had, um, and then how many resumes were submitted. So you as a host of an event, you're going to have all of the data that you need to be able to have to be able to say, was this a successful event um, and what happened during that event because the reporting and the data is the biggest key that we have. Um, you know, some of the, uh, you know, events last week with the paychecks for Patriots, you're able to know how many people registered for the event, how many people logged in, how many people visited each booth so that you can go in and how many people submitted resumes. So now not do you just at the end of an event, when I was putting on in-person job fairs, I used to, you'd have to walk up to the company and say, so how did you do at the event? How many interviews did you schedule? How many resumes did you get? And I says, I don't know. Well, now we have all of that data. The only data we don't give is who got hired out of that event, just because nobody really knows that the day of the event, because sometimes it goes on just a bit of longer.
but they're going to be able to take all of that data and go, hey, ABC Mortgage, here are the 27 people that applied to positions on your site. Please let us know who you hired on that. So now you can look at your return on investment after that event is over. Awesome. Well, Steve from uh, Premier Virtual, uh, thank you very much for your time today. Appreciate the info. Great product. And uh, we'll put your link in the chat there. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. All right. Take care.